Hey, and welcome to another Firefly beading tutorial. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you how to put some fringe on some hoops using a bead weaving technique. All the materials you're gonna need are gonna be listed below in our description, so check that out if you can. And this is what we are going to be creating today, the mate to this earring right here. Of course, you can choose any colors you wish to follow along with. So the first thing we're gonna get is about two yards of our Nymo or Eslon cord, whichever one you're using. And we're gonna thread on our needle. Um, it's easier to put the needle onto the thread, I think, um, and our needles go on easier a certain way. So if it's having trouble going on one way, just spin your needle around and try it the other way. Once you have it on, you wanna leave about a four inch tail on the back side of it and then have your working thread and then, then of course clear all your space here and what we're going to do is condition our thread with some beeswax so you're just going to hold it on to it and kind of run your um, thread along the beeswax and this kind of stretches your thread and conditions it to keep it from fraying All right, once you've done that, you're gonna grab your hoop or component that you're gonna be threading onto and stick your needle through. And pretty much all we're gonna be doing right here is tying a knot onto the hoop. So I just do a simple square knot. Almost as if I were tying my shoe. So once and then twice right here. And when you're done with this, you could add a dab of glue, but it's really not necessary if you tie your knots tight enough. We'll be adding glue at a later part in this video. And what you wanna do first is thread on one needle. I mean, I'm sorry, one bead. And pull that bead all the way down to the hoop. And now I'm gonna bring my needle through the hoop and holding this kind of secure, I'm gonna grab the bead to kind of keep it on top of the hoop here. I'm gonna tuck my thread back and hold it with my middle finger and then bring my needle back through the bead, almost moving it to the left, like going in from the right to the left. And that should have your bead go on like that. So again, we're gonna go with one bead on. Bring that bead all the way down. Tuck your thread, bring your needle through the hoop. Secure the bead with your finger and hold onto your thread. And again, from right to left. So basically you want your thread coming up through the bead. I'm repeating this process until we have 11 beads on this hoop. Bringing it down, bringing your needle through. Securing the bead, tucking your thread, and bringing it from the right to the left. And then pulling it all tight. And again, you wanna have an odd number of beads on here. For this earring that I'm making today, we're gonna have, like I said, 11 of these beads going um, on the hoop. You could do nine, you could do seven, you could do 13, whatever you wanna do. So here is what the 11 beads look like. They should all be pretty secure on here. Now we're ready to start our fringe. So I'm gonna start with one bead here. And you can see it goes up by two. If you look at the blacks here, I start with one, then three, then five, and so on. Um, that just kind of builds it uh, to have a point, but you can choose whatever you wanna do with the fringe here. Um, 
I just like building at the start, so I always put one, one or two extra beads at the beginning, and then choose your pattern that you would like on your fringe. So you pull it all down, and then you're gonna take your needle, and you're gonna pass the first bead, and then put your needle in through the second bead, and kind of thread your needle all the way up. So you can go a little bit at a time like this and just keep threading it up. Eventually you want to go up through that secured bead that's actually on the hoop. So we're going up through that bead that we had secured. And to pull this through you kind of just do a little bit at a time. The first one can be a little tricky. Um, I kind of just hold everything still and gently pull my working thread through. So I'm kind of pushing gently on the beads as I pull this through, and then I grab my last bead and pull. Now I'm gonna take this needle, so we're coming up through that secured bead, and we're gonna go down into the bead right next to it. So I'm going over one right here and going down to create my next line of fringe. And just do slow movements, making sure nothing tangles here. So I did one black bead, now I'm gonna do three black beads. Of course, you can do what you want, but this is just how I build, by adding two extra beads from the original. And as for my colors, right, for the rest of the pattern, I just keep them the exact same on every piece of fringe. So the only thing that's changing are my beginning beads. So again, I pull everything down. And then I skip the one bead here and go up through all the rest. And again, you don't have to go through all of them at one time, just do a little bit and slide it down. So I'm going actually up through that secured bead here. And I could see we already have a problem here. So this is a good example of what happens when you don't go through every bead. If you look closely, um, this one little pink bead didn't make it through both strands. So what you have to do is take off your needle, unthread everything to that bead, and then re-stick your needle back through. So it's not too hard, you just have to take your needle off your thread, Take your thread down and then put your needle back on and then thread through what you're supposed to thread through. So I just took everything down to that pink bead and then reapplied my needle and restuck it through that pink bead and everything else. So hopefully now everything is through the threads here. Pull it tight. I don't see a little sneaky bead here, so we're good. So I'm going to pull as I hold. All right, so everything's secure. So again, I'm gonna go right down the bead that's right next to what we just finished up. And I'm gonna continue to build my fringe with two beads each time. So there should be two extra beads per fringe until we get to the middle. All right, so I'm right here at the middle. So I'm coming down. This is the exact middle. So basically the sixth bead in my pattern here the sixth bead on my hoop. And we can double check here on this fringe, I should have nine black beads. Seven, eight, nine, so I have nine. So right here, I'm gonna add 13 now. This is gonna be my longest fringe on this earring before I decrease. So everything else stays the same, except now I've got these 13 beads extra. Bringing everything back through. And going down next to it. So I had my 13 beads, now I'm gonna decrease. So I'm going back down to just nine beads on here. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, so now our fringe is gonna start getting smaller. So 
smallest to biggest, then back to smallest. And we're just going to keep up with that all the way to the end. All right, so we just finished our last fringe and I pulled everything up through that secured bead and I'm going to put my needle through the hoop. I'm just doing this because I basically want to go have my tail on one side and my working thread on the other side of the hoop. I'm going to take my needle off. And we're back where we started, so we're going to use the tail that we had originally and we're going to tie another square knot right here. So one, pull everything tight, two, so we've got our double knot here, and just to make sure everything is secure I'm going to add one more knot, kind of pull it, and then I'm gonna add a little dab of glue. Making sure nothing is tangled up in the beads, just in case. This glue is great because it's got this little needle precision point, so I'm just gonna put a little dab here. And then also look how this little needle slides in here to save all your glue. Sometimes you get a little bead of glue, you just wipe it off push everything down. And once the glue is dry, we're going to snip off our tails very carefully. So having some really sharp um, thread scissors is a good thing to have. So we want to cut as close to the knot as possible without cutting the knot itself. Awesome, so we got our fringe on there, and now we're going to use our chain nose pliers to add on an earring hook. So with this you find the opening and you're going to twist towards you or away from you. You don't want to pry it open, you want to twist. Simply slide on your hoop and gently twist shut until everything is flush. And there you have it, a pair of fringe hoop earrings. We hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please hit like or subscribe to our channel to learn more. Thanks and happy beading from us at Firefly.